city, first town that I visited, uh, October 14th, I believe, uh, 2011. Uh, I made my first uh, appearance at an RTC in the third district, it was right here, and the Hamden RTC endorsed my candidacy that night. And uh, so, thank you. This is like coming home <laughs> when I come to Hamden. Now, I'm gonna answer the question that everybody wants the answer to. Can we pull this off? Can we win? The answer is yes. And I'll tell you exactly why. Yes, Rosa DeLauro can raise 10 times the amount of money I can. I'm not gonna match her for money, but I don't have to. Rosa DeLauro's support that I, I have discovered is, it's a mile wide, but it's about an inch thick. That's it. She is, it's like, it's like smoke, almost. She looks really formidable. She's been there for years. She's entrenched with the establishment. She's entrenched with the machine. But what I'm finding, when I walk around and I talk to people, regular people that have to go out on election day and vote, people just like you, I am finding that people all over the 3rd District are quite frankly tired of her. They are tired of her ineffective leadership. They are tired of the, uh, the, the games, the political games that she's been playing. And she's, they're tired, quite frankly, of the, just the blatant lies that she has been uh, uh, culminating and, and fomenting. And uh, I, after I spoke to one lady, I mean, she just, she said, I'm so tired. And I looked at her, I said, you have Rosa fatigue, don't you? And she said, yes. <laughs> yes, Wade, I do. Well, I'm happy to tell you, the cure for Rosa fatigue is Wayne Winsley. And that message is resonating uh, in places that you would think that it would not. And yes, uh, I'm, I'm talking to folks uh, in inner city New Haven. I'm talking to people in Brantford all over the district. And here's the key. I need to raise money, but I only actually need enough resources to make sure that all 700,000 voters in the district just know who I am and hear the message. We accomplished that. At least 51% of them will vote for us. Uh, I was sp speaking to people at the block party that Palin mentioned, and the recurring theme that I found, these are inner city Democrat voters. I spoke to one lady, and uh, I talked to her, and she said, honey, you need to know, you need to let people know who you are. You need to let people know, everybody needs to know that you're here. And this is a person that was aware and engaged because she ran down all of her representatives to me. She looked me in the eyes and she said, Wayne, Rosa DeLauro does not come here unless she wants something. Martin Looney does not come here even when he does want something. <laughs> Tony Hart doesn't come here when she wants All the way down to her alderman. This is a Democrat voter who was engaged enough to know exactly who all of her representatives were. And basically, she said they all, none of them are worth a quarter. And we'll vote for you, honey. You let us know who you are. You know, party, it doesn't matter. Because people are hurting. People are realizing that it doesn't work. Now, if you noticed last night, uh, Bill Clinton's speech, uh, he had to reach down and pull out his best Arkansas used car salesman to try and get people to keep buying the hope and change. You listen to what he actually said. You know, when somebody has to tell you, I believe it, I, be I, I believe it, I really, really believe it. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they want you to believe it. <laughs> and, and the fact that he had to say, well, you just wait, you'll feel it, you will, you will feel it. You know why he has to say that? Because people aren't feeling it now. They right. bought it four years ago, and they aren't feeling it right now. So now the sales pitch is, well, if you, if you just wait, you another four years, just wait, you'll feel I promise, it's coming. No, it's not. No, it's not. And people across the spectrum realize that. 
So I'm here to just tell you that, sure, it's an uphill battle, but then all challenger campaigns are uphill battle. But it is absolutely doable. And uh, you hold it down for me in, in Hamden, help me to win here, volunteer your time, help me work the phones, uh, whether it's in Stratford or at any of the other locations that we have coming online. Uh, we're going to try and get a small office that's closer to this end of the district as well. Uh, but help us if you have a few dollars, absolutely. Uh, the other thing is spread the word. Spread the word. Neighbor to neighbor. You know, and it doesn't matter. If your neighbor's a Democrat, tell them, hey, you might want to check out our guy this time. You, you might want to check out this Wednesday guy. Send them to the website. Uh, independent voters, you know, let them know. All of your friends and coworkers. So I just wanted to let you know. Yes, this is absolutely doable. This is the time. This is the place we can make this happen because we have to. It is too important. This election, we are going to decide whether we are going to remain a free market, free enterprise society or turn into something else. I vote that we stay and remain the America that I grew up in. That's what I want for my children. That's why I'm doing this. Our, our nation's future is literally at stake, but we can absolutely do it. So thank you very much for, for being with me at the beginning. Thank you for staying with me now. And I'm going to thank you all again late at night on November 6th when we win, because that's how we all win with Winsley. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.